Hello um, welcome to Saw Tackle and as you can see we're back in the caravan. Right so I thought we would have a look at protecting your pole basically. Pole's quite an expensive asset, um, quite an expensive piece of kit. The dead strong in some respects but very very fragile in others. So everything we can do to help protect them whilst certainly while we're using them all the better. Um, Everyone should know you should use pole rollers, um, really have a minimum of two pole rollers. Um, so that's, that's obviously a different subject, but um, one of the things that um, for very little money, um, just to help protect the female um, joints on your sections, um, certainly if you've got a uh, bare section when you're shipping backwards, you can just have the bare end of the pole as you're shipping backwards, you soon miss pole roller or hit the pole roller or even go past pole roller it might be catching a bit of grass or a bit of gravel behind you or whatever just protecting those sections <coughs> certainly if you're only fishing you might only be fishing um, eight meters or whatever you might not be using <coughs> excuse me you might not even be using sort of um, dolly butts and things like that um, because you, you're fishing too short so what we got that will help protect your pole basically skid bungs, expander bungs, um, butt protectors, um, could be you know, called all sorts, mainly the known as skid bungs and expander bungs. So we'll have a look at those um, and just give you a bit of an insight into uh, which ones to choose, which ones um, what will fit hopefully and go from there, all right? Right, so we'll look at the expander bung to start. It's probably the most common one. Um, so quite a lot of these to be fair. There used to be a different make around at one point. Um, Selma used to make uh, two different sizes, but unfortunately they are long gone. So the only one really now available that I know of is these Garbolino ones. Dead simple device. Um, obviously it's, um, it's fairly soft, um, Dopron um, end, um, and then it's got a screw fit and it goes through, two washers and a soft bit in the middle, soft rubber bit in the middle as the as you screw it in like that, obviously it pulls the washers together and expands the middle. Simple, which means it does fit quite a lot of sections. Um, this, the first washer basically is about 35 mil across. Um, so obviously you, you need to be sort of 37 mil um, female sections for it to fit into to make it work, otherwise it just falls out. Um, it will expand up to about 42. I wouldn't really go any further than that because it is only a plastic thread and you could strip it. I've stripped one in the past by cranking it up and trying to get it to fit in uh, bigger than a um, too big a section basically. I find it's for me it's limited 42 which is roughly which is a um, what's it 13 meter section on my pole. Um, so if I wanted to go 14 meters on the 14 meter section this won't fit. Um, so Obviously, measure your internal diameter. Put tape measure. It's dead easy to do it roughly. Uh, measure the internal diameter, and then you'll find that these will, sh will fit quite a number of your sections. Really, from fairly probably a, even from sort of seven or eight meters on some poles um, upwards up to, like I say, up to thirteen meter on, on mine. Um, so yeah, garbling expandable fits loads of different thing um, poles uh, section sizes it's like 13 quid all but the penny don't start cheaper than obviously um, getting a pole repair or even having to replace a section because you because you banged it into something and cracked it all right so that's that one and we'll have a look at the others as well right so your other type are these ones from sensas same same principle again apart from these are just a push fit which you don't expand, um, they are a conical shape, so they will fit various sections. You can push them in. Um, size diameters they start from around about 35 mil again, um, on the smallest, and then they are ex the, the widest point, um, I think is about 42 mil. Um, so again, they'll fit quite a number of sections. I mean, I suppose because of what they're made of. You could actually, um, if you wanted to put them into smaller sections, probably say if you're fishing, I don't know, 
on a number four section or a number five section you wanted to make them fit on one of those you could soon quite easily um, make them smaller um, so yeah again th so that will fit in quite a number of sections and then good thing with census ones they actually do one that goes up the next size so basically it starts from the smaller one in its size which is like i say it's just over 40 mil um and it, its biggest point is 50. so so there's quite a lot of poles certainly when you're going into 14 meter and 16 meter sections um obviously you, you took quite a bit wider and uh, some parallel poles from sort of 30 meters can be something like 40 mil um, all the way up um, yes you could argue you could put a dolly butt in um, but you're adding quite a bit of weight on to the end of the pole um, obviously you weigh nothing um, so if you don't need your dolly butt for balancing out then these are great just pushing in the pole same thing again it, it just protects that joint from being banged into possible cracks and things like that um, dead easy to fit worth having like eight quid well not even eight quid to 7.99 um so yeah they're worth having definitely all right so it uh simple really just to recap so gobbling and expandable that's worth definitely worth having as well and then these fixed ones that um from sensas worth having so for not a lot of money you could be saving a lot of money all right so don't forget to like and subscribe folks and i shall hopefully see you again on the next one take care guys bye bye